Hey guys, my name is Alex Vanover. Welcome back to my channel, which is Divine Design Crafts. I wanted to jump on tonight and introduce myself to you guys. I know there's a lot of new followers, so I wanted to get on and say hello. So tonight we're going to be working on a fairly quick project. Um, I, If you follow me on Facebook, you know that I'm going on vacation very soon. And I wanted to glitter a fun accessory, so I decided to put glitter on sunglasses for the very first time. I have never done this before. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to give it a shot. And you guys are going to be right here with me while I figure it out. So, um, so let's get started. But before um, we get to the glittering, I will let you guys jump on and join me a little bit. Um, it's Friday, thank goodness. I have some wine with me this evening <laughs> in my corksicle tumbler to help me craft because crafting is always better with wine. I am drinking Party Red, which is a sweet red blend from one of my favorite vineyards, actually in Virginia, where my husband is from. It is delicious, it's like semi-sweet and red and the perfect complement to crafting. So if you're joining me now, Please let me know uh, that you're here and let me know where you're from, maybe, um, or something like that. Just say hello so I can give you a shout out. And I guess we'll go ahead and get started on the sunglasses. So first, um, before I even took the picture that I posted on Facebook, I put painter's tape around the lenses of my glasses because I don't want the paint or the glitter to get on the lenses because obviously that wouldn't make them very good sunglasses. And then they started out black, but as you can see, I've mostly painted them white. I left the, um, the tips black for now. I'm eventually going to paint those and glitter those as well, um, but I needed a place to hold them while I was painting. So I just painted the inside and the outside with white acrylic paint, nothing crazy. Um, and so that's how I'm going to start. Um, I got inspired for this project because I've been doing a lot of glitter tumblers lately. And while those are fun, I wanted to do something a little more unique to take on vacation with me. So that's why um, I decided on sunglasses. And with tumblers, before you do glitter tumblers, um, it's always good to have a base color. And I didn't have the right paint to match the colors of glitter that I'm going to be using. But um, I did want to use white because I think it'll show up a lot better than black on the sunglasses. So let's get started. All right. So the colors that were voted on by my Facebook followers ended up being the mermaid scheme. Um, so this is, of course, a purple and a mint. These are both from the glitter guy. This glitter is under the sea. And this glitter is tangled. This is also the glitter that is in my earrings. I was playing this into this glitter earlier and I mix it. Um, I mixed it in with some epoxy and dropped it in these earring blanks so that like, I already know how beautiful this glitter is. I'm so excited to put these on sunglasses. And then when I get some um, when I get finished, I'm going to put these little seashells on there. So I'll see if I'll see if you guys can see that. I have some little seashell glitter pieces that I'm going to put on the edges of the sunglasses as well. So, I haven't quite figured that out just yet, where these are going to go, but I'm excited to use these. We probably won't finish the whole project here together today, but I wanted to get started and show you guys how I'm going to do this, and I'll let you know if it works. Maybe it'll be a disaster and it won't work at all. I don't know. We're going to give it a shot and try it. Um, so whenever I do glitter, I always like to do glitter in these dollar store pans. These are super helpful because they help you uh, help save you from getting glitter all over the place. And if you need to pick glitter back up to like add to a spot that you missed, this is a great thing to um, you can just pick it right out of the bottom and drop it back on. So it's a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. All right. So we'll get started. So I'm going to start with some Mod Podge. All I have is this matte Mod Podge, so this is what we're going to be using tonight. Ideally, you'd probably use glossy, but this works just as well for me. And there's potential, so I'm going to start with Mod Podge and um, paint all over the glasses with those and then add the glitter. And potentially, depending on how this goes, I may add some epoxy to these outside edges, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. It just kind of depends on how the glittering goes. So I'm going to take some 
Mod Podge. I'm actually going to pour it on this newspaper so that it stays out of my pen and my glitter and doesn't get mixed up in that. Alright, so we'll start with this and my plan is to start glittering the edges. I'm going to do one lens with the mint or this, this corner with the mint and then I'm going to do one corner with this purple glitter and then I'm going to try to sort of do an ombre somehow in between. So I'm going to start with um, painting the Mod Podge on in the corners. So you guys can see them. Right. So I know you can't really see it because the glasses are already painted white, but I have this corner painted with Mod Podge. So we'll start with the mint glitter and see how it does on this corner. Gently pour this glitter over top of your eye pen and my fudge. So I didn't paint a ton. But that gives me a good start to know where I'm at. So I've got that corner done. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to get a couple of places with Mod Podge a little closer in toward the lens so that we get a little bit of a thicker coat. And depending on how we do, I may even do a second coat of Mod Podge on glitter. We will see. So now that I have some in my pan, I'm just going to pick some of that up and drop it right where I want it. That helps me be a little bit more controlled. Some people like to use um, spoons coming out of their glitter bag, but I just don't find that super necessary. I'm fine with just getting glitter all over my hands and using my hands. So right now it's pretty light colored, but we're off to a good start. So I'm going to start and do the same process in the other corner with the purple glitter. Something else that I was kind of debating on earlier is if I'm going to do the inside edges of the sunglasses because of course the texture of the glitter is going to be a little bit scratchy so I don't know how far inside the sunglasses I want to go because it could potentially make them uncomfortable to wear. I haven't decided about that just yet. We're just going to play this one by ear this time. You guys know me. I'm usually like a hardcore planner. I have to have a full plan, know everything that's going on, um, but with this one, I decided I was just going to do something fun and take a bit of a risk, so we'll see. Alright. Oh my gosh, I just love this color. So let's see what that gets us. So if you guys have ever shopped with the glitter guy before, let me know if you like his glitter. Hey! Alright, so this is how the other corner turned out. So we're starting to get some color here. I'm going to go ahead and bring both the purple and the mint in toward um, each other a little closer. And then I'll start working on the ombre. 
I'm thinking I might try to save kind of this thicker area up top here. Try to save that for the ombre since there's a little more space, a um, little more space to see it. So we'll start with that. The good thing and one of my favorite reasons to use Mod Podge when you're glittering stuff is because with Mod Podge, you have plenty of time after you apply it to decide what you want to do with the glitter. It doesn't dry super fast or anything like that. I've tried things like the Loctite method and stuff when I'm doing tumblers and I just feel like it dries too fast and I don't get a chance to like go over it again if I want to or add another layer um, because it just you just have so little time to do it. So I really like the Mod Podge method. I've also done the epoxy method which is not bad but I just like to have as much control over where the glitter goes as possible and I think that's best with Mod Podge. So if you guys are um, tumbler makers or if you play with glitter at all, let me know what your guys' favorite like, application method is. And if you've ever put uh, glitter on sunglasses, let me know that too. That would be a huge help. Alright, so I've added a little more glitter around the lens of the purple. So I'm going to go back to the mint and add some both on the top and bottom there. I need to do the very top as well. Bands. And we'll go down at the bottom as well. Get some of that surface area. Hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you're glad it's Friday. If it's your Friday, unless you work the weekends, then it doesn't feel like Friday to you. Alright. So I'm going to take... Yeah, that looks about even. So I've added enough Mod Podge, even though you guys can't see, so that it's about as far over on the mint as it will be, or as it already is on the purple. And that way we're starting out even. Alright. I'm going to pour our glitter out here, but without dumping the whole entire bag in my pan, which I've definitely wasted lots of glitter that way before. Right. I'm going to get the bottom of the lens as well. I'm really finding for, um, for ear glitter or for glitter that is like so fine it's really doing a pretty good job covering these sunglasses I'm pretty impressed but I think if I had left them black it probably would have struggled to cover all that just because it's really hard for any glitter to cover black let alone something so um, fine okay, there we go. so we're off to a good start there so I'm gonna start ombre a little bit I can kind of see your guys's comments Hi, Dina. My phone's a little bit far away, so it's a little bit hard to see your comments. So I apologize if I can't read them. And if I can't, I'll come back and answer them after the video. But continue to post them. Let me know what your questions are. Let me know if you've done this before. And so if you guys are just joining me, I'm getting ready to go on a cruise, actually a crafting cruise, next week. And I wanted to do a fun accessory to glitter. Um, I've been playing with the glitter tumblers a lot, so I've been inspired by glittering things, and so I actually, funny story, found these glasses on clearance for a dollar at Walmart, and so I thought, hey, worst comes to worst, I screw up these dollar sunglasses, and they're just pretty, and I never ever wear them, <laughs> but if they're awesome, and they turn out as pretty as I hope they will, then it's going to be an awesome craft, and all the crafters will probably want to glitter sunglasses too. So either way, it's a win-win. And um, if you follow me on Facebook, you already know this, but if you don't, I, I couldn't decide on my color scheme. I was between this mermaid color scheme that I have, and then I also really like the this hot pink glitter and these fun like summer dots. Um, I thought those would be a really fun mix to put on some glasses. So I let the followers pick, and they decided on mermaid. So that's how I got that's how I decided to do this. So I'm doing like a green and a mint mermaid. 
And then I also have these really fun little seashells that I think I'm probably going to add like in the corners, maybe like down the sides a little bit. All right. So when I'm ombre, this is the way that I do my tumblers as well. I'm going to start taking um, mixes of both the glitter and I'm going to sprinkle it up from really high. And that just helps the application not to be so harsh. So I'm just kind of dropping it on there. I've painted Mod Podge on the bridge here and started down the nose a little bit. So I'm actually going to add some purple glitter to this mix so that I can kind of mix them together with my fingers. I definitely like to use my fingers when I'm doing ombre because I get I feel like I get a better feel for the mixture for making sure that I am draw, I'm using both glitters. So I'm kind of I don't know if you can see this pan. I'm sort of mixing it up here in the middle and creating like a good middle ground. I'm just gonna start up really high, aiming for the bridge of the nose, but I may not get there. And drop it in on. A good start there, okay. Looks pretty well mixed in the middle. Give it a second to set. Something else that I like to do because even though this glitter is really fine, it can actually stick up sideways and do some crazy things. So I'll pat it into the Mod Podge before I end up shaking any off, and that helps it stick better. So, so far, we're pretty well mixed in the middle. I'm just going to keep following that same process as I go down the nose, because there's some Mod Podge down there as well. So this same technique can be applied to tumblers, if that's something that you're interested in trying. Um, let's go with this way some. And um, if you're just now joining me, I really like the Mod Podge method of applying glitter because I feel like I have a lot more control over um, where my glitter is and if I want to do like, more layers or if I'm not happy with the ombre, it's a lot easier to do it when you're using Mod Podge versus other methods like epoxy or um, things like that when you don't have quite as much time to figure it out or once you're stuck, you're stuck. So I love Mod Podge for this. All right. So we're starting to get a good mix here on the um, on the very top. So I'm going to start to bring some of the mint glitter in and kind of sprinkle it up this way so that it looks a little bit more gradient and gradual rather than such a harsh, um, harsh transition. Because of course that's the thing that you don't want with ombre um, is a harsh transition. So I'm going to paint Mod Podge over both sides of the glitter, a little bit into the mint and a little bit into the mix. And then I'm going to add a little bit of extra mint to this mixture so that we're kind of uh, making a better transition on the mint side. And I'll pick this glitter up and drop it from way up high. Do a little bit more here. I'm just going to tap it in so that it doesn't all fall off because it didn't stick to the Mod Podge. And then make sure to do the top as well. So we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the ombre over on that side. I just need to paint the top and make sure that the top gets some more glitter. doing the top of the sunglasses and then adding a little bit extra mint for the minty side so that we're getting a nice gradual ombre over here. I'm tapping it in to make sure that the glitter sticks. Alright, and I've added, I accidentally got a little bit of Mod Podge in the front again, so I'm just going to tap that back down so that we can't tell that there is a second layer on top of that. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to do the same process on this side. So I'm going to mix a little extra purple into my mixed glitter, and I'm going to drop it from way up high on top of the Mod Podge to create like a gradual ombre on this side. And 
And so guys, we're probably not gonna finish the whole project here today, um, but if you wanna see the finished result, make sure that you um, check out my Instagram and Facebook page. Those are both linked on uh, the cover art on my YouTube channel. You can find those there, and I will definitely post pictures of the finished project product on there so you can see. All right. So I'm gonna do the top a little bit more. Over on this side, and I'll bring it up here that way. And now I'm gonna add in that extra purple so that we're getting more of a purple tint over here. And I'm going to start with the front of the frame since that's the most obvious. And I'm just sprinkling real lightly, but come up pretty high to get a nice, pretty gradual ombre. I'm going to add some well mixed glitter here in the middle. I feel like it quite got enough over there. So I think it's good. For glitter ombre sunglasses, I'm pretty happy with it. So, you guys can see the ombre is not perfect, but pretty gradual, good enough for now. So now I'm going to go back and paint the top a little bit. And that way I will ombre some of the top as well, and then I'll go back to the plain purple, because I haven't done any purple this way yet. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen these unicorn corksicle tumblers. Of course, I'm a fan of the glitter tumblers, so I don't buy many tumblers and keep the outside color the same anymore, but I love this one. My mother-in-law got me this for Christmas because she knows me so well, and so it's purple with a little bit of a holographic tint. I don't know if you guys can see that with my bright studio lights, but I'm loving this tumbler, so I definitely encourage these. And guys, I hope we don't get cut off, um, but I did read that with um, being fairly new to YouTube, I, there may be a time restriction on how long I can be live on YouTube. So if the video ends abruptly, I'm sorry. Make sure that you um, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. You can always connect with me on all my other social media. So all of that is linked on the, um, on the cover art of my channel. So if you go to the channel homepage in the bottom right corner, my website, my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, all that stuff is down there so you can see. All right. So I'm going to cover the purple edge first so that I don't mix up the ombre too much. I keep that purple lens a little more purple. And then as we get toward the middle of the lens, I'm going to add some of the ombre back in. Okay. A little bit more of a mix on the top. things doing pretty well. So as you can see, the ombre over here is doing fairly well. It's pretty, pretty clear. And so now we're going to do some of the ombre on the bottom of the front of the lenses. They have the solid colors, but they don't have any ombre down this way yet. And actually I'm going to touch up a few of these areas up top that have not gotten quite enough mark on. The other challenge with this ombre and like glittering these sunglasses is there's a lot of little tiny edges on sunglasses that I didn't really consider before ever trying to paint them white and um, doing this to them, like the actual edges that hold the lenses in. And so those are a pretty hard spot to reach. So I'm not sure how well that will hold. So you will probably still be able to tell um, at some point that the uh, color underneath the glitter is probably white, but that's okay. Still no big deal. They are still glitter sunglasses that are going to look fabulous on the beach. Okay. So I may have to go back there. It's not really wanting to stick as well. So I can always go back and um, touch up with some extra mod podge. So no worries there. 
So I'm going to start moving down the lenses at this point to go down through the nose. And I don't think I'm going to do like inside the nose pads and stuff like that because that's probably going to scratch my nose and make it pretty uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys are like me, but whenever I go to the beach, my nose always gets a little bit sunburned. And so fine glitter scratching it up like sandpaper would probably not be terribly comfortable. So I'm going to reload that area without any glitter. So I'm just putting this little Mod Podge to help it stick. And in case you guys didn't see, I'm using the matte Mod Podge, and honestly, glossy would probably be a better fit for this project. But um, this is all I have, so this is what I'm using. And my plan is to see how the Mod Podge application goes, and if it goes well, and uh, the glasses are still feeling pretty scratchy, even after a couple coats of Mod Podge, I will probably add some epoxy to the surfaces where I'll just lay them flat and I will just do one side at a time. So for instance, if I was epoxying the front of these, I would lay the sunglasses like this and I guess I'll have to do one lens and then the other, but there's still a risk that the epoxy could run because epoxy is self-leveling. So even when I set these up like this, as you can see, there's a curve to them. So they may not stay perfectly level, but I'm going to see what happens after I finish the ombre and I'll decide what I need to do to make these comfortable enough to still wear. Because although they are pretty, I want them to also be functional. So, just going to put that here. Alright. So we're doing pretty good down this purple lens. Not too bad. We've got the uh, pure purple over on this corner, and then we've got some ombre starting up the nose, and then we've got the best ombre here in the center. So I'm going to apply the same principle to the next side. And I am doing the bottom of the lenses, but I'm going to skip over the part on the nose so that I don't feel like I have some sandpaper on my nose. I don't believe that doesn't sound comfortable to me. Alright. So I'm going to add a little more mint to my hand and my tray. Um, if you guys weren't here in the very beginning, I like to use these dollar store trays to do a lot of glitter because it really helps contain the glitter. I really hate, um, although I love glitter, I hate having it all over my house. So these trays with the kind of high sides, I would say the sides, this is probably like a 9 by 13 baking pan, um, so the sides are high enough that I can contain most of the glitter. So, I'm going to add some mint over here, and then I'm going to add some mint into our mix here so that we get like a mint tinted mix if that makes sense so the glitter is already mixed and then i just add a little extra mint so that the transition is a little more, a little more gradual on this side whereas on the other side it was gradually purple so kind of stay true to that ombre effect if we can Guys, I'm pretty impressed with how this is going so far. So I like to pat my glitter in a little bit with my epoxy, or excuse me, my epoxy, with my Mod Podge because the glitter can kind of go in different directions even though it's fine glitter. It can stick up sideways and if it dries like that it can be a little bit of a pain to work with in the future. So I found if you pat it down a little bit, that helps it kind of go against the surface that you're trying to apply it to. Makes it a little bit easier to work with. Alright. So this one spot's not wanting to take much glitter. So add a little more Mod Podge. And I'll try it again. I'll add a bunch of glitter this time and then I'll really try and pat it in to make space. And this 
and spots being really stubborn. So I may have to wait for it to dry and then I can always go back and add some more. So here's where we are so far. I am pretty happy with how they're doing. So I still have to finish the bottom. I'm gonna do the outside of the sides. I'm gonna add some seashells to at least these corners. And then I might add a couple down this way. Um, so I may use hot glue for that. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I'm going to at least do another layer of Mod Podge over the top of all the glitter to keep it down. Um, or it's possible that I will try to epoxy it. And the epoxy would be nice because it'll give it a smoother finish, so it'll be a little bit more comfortable. But I'm still going to stay away from these edges, so I'm probably not going to glitter the insides of my sunglasses because that way when they're against like the back of my ear and my nose, they'll be a little more comfortable and um, they're not going to be quite as scratchy. So we'll see how they'll do. Um, so I'm not going to finish the rest of this craft tonight because I'm going to have to let this dry before I keep going. Um, so please make sure you check out my Facebook, Instagram, whatever, if you want to see the end result of these amazing glasses. And um, I'm sure I'll take some pictures with them on the beach and things like that. So I will make sure to keep you guys updated. But thanks so much for um, watching me live this evening. Again, my name is Alex Vanover and you're back on my channel, Divine Design Crafts. If you're a new subscriber, I really appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. And if you've been a subscriber for a little while, I appreciate you as well. You guys are awesome. So um, I can't wait to keep crafting with you and learning all kinds of stuff. Um, my favorite things to craft are usually wedding crafts. I forgot to tell you guys about my story a little bit. So I got a cricket because I was getting married back in 20, I got married in 2017, but I was getting married in 2016 because I got engaged. So a friend of mine encouraged me to get a cricket. She was like, Alex, you would love this. So I ended up investing in a cricket to learn to DIY my wedding and I absolutely loved it. So after the wedding, I never stopped. I just kept learning more and more and more about all of the amazing things that Cricut can do. I've had so much fun learning about it. It's a blast, but wedding crafts are still my thing. I still love them so much. I love making wedding decor. I love making wedding gifts for friends of mine. So definitely stay tuned for, um, for crafts like that. So if you're getting married or if you are helping plan a wedding like a mother of a bride, groom, maid of honor, uh, bridesmaid, all of you guys who are so important in helping plan a wedding, make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, but I also am passionate about helping people learn about the Cricut. So if you're new to the Cricut or if you just want to refresh on some skills, make sure that you check out some of my videos. Um, I have some screen capture tutorials that show you some, how to do some things in design space. Um, especially if you're new, check out my Cricut overview or my how to use the Cricut design space video. It's about a 30 minute tour of design space, but I think it really helps get you guys, um, you know, get you uh, like familiar with all of the tools and things like that that Design Space can do. And then of course I have some tutorials, I have some idea videos, but there's lots, lots more to come. So please make sure to join me. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. Happy crafting.